right beyond the blue RC here and I'm going to do a quick video just for fun going over the uh, differences between an old school Radio Shack X mod and one of the newer Kayosho Mini Z's and even the older ones were far far beyond the X mods but the X mod bodies I always like the looks of those and I held on to one of these I've only got one now, but I held on to this Firebird just because I really liked the body. And I did a lot of mod about all the modifications that you could do to one of these X mods I did to it back in the day, probably 15 years ago. It's about how old that thing is. Whereas this is brand new. So, yeah, I'm going to go over the differences just for fun. Yeah. Of course, these lights do work. There we go. Get a good shot of it there. Yeah, very cool. Obviously, the first difference is transmitters. This even has a this is a four-channel transmitter, so you've got um, steering dual rates, you've got throttle trim, um, steering trim, and of course a four-channel to operate your lights. You know, you can change them from a strobe to a flashing high intensity strobe to just steady on with this car and of course this thing I mean really they're both toys but this is this is oh man almost almost hobby grade back in the day it was Radio Shack's attempt at you know it was neat I, I enjoyed it uh, so and technology is just you know it's come so far of course, you've got some steering trim, auto trim. It looks like uh, like a channel where you, I guess it says user, maybe um, left and right. Not sure what that switch is for. It may be for. Oh, I think it's for the steering wheel. Kind of weird. I think that's what it's for. Because so I think the steering wheel can go on either side. Yeah, that's what it's for. So I have the steering wheel on the right side. So I have it on R. And you can put the steering wheel on the left side if you're left handed. I forgot about that. That's kind of a cool feature that they did. And of course, you're dealing with 27 megahertz FM crystals. If you've been in the hobbies, you know, a while, more than 10 years, you know what those are. Shoot, maybe 13 years. I don't know how long. 2.4's been around. 2.4's been around a little while. Anyway, this car is like 15 years old, so this is the technology 15, 16 years ago. This car might even be 16 years ago. I don't know. 15 or 16 years old. It's an old car. So... Of course, you got a button here to fold this down for storage. And of course, your antenna will come right off. Fold down for storage. And everything goes nice and neatly in this box that they would give you. So that was handy back in the day. Well, let's get into the cars. Let's start with the X mod just because this thing is so old. So, to take the body off, you want to pull this clip forward and that will slide the body off. Pretty much as simple as it's a lot easier to take off than the, than the, uh, 
the uh, Mini Z, but that's okay. It's not that much harder. And of course, I have LEDs installed in this thing as well. I have an LED bar, LED bar on the bottom that lights up this, like it's kind of like a ground effects type deal. And then of course I got LEDs, tail lights, and headlights. I guess I can turn that on real quick so you can see what that looks like. There you go. And of course you got to give it a little bit of. I'm gonna fold the tray right here. You gotta give it a little bit of. Which actually unfold the transmitter and they fired up. So you got taillights and headlights. And not, it didn't come with these taillights and headlights. You had to buy them separately, which you do for the Mini Z too. But this Mini Z, I was able to get them pre installed just because it's a little cheaper that way and I went for it. Well, through Amazon, it was a little cheaper that way. Through Aiming Hobbies, it's not. But anyway, that's what that looks like. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Oops. And then I'll take the body off and show you the chassis. Now with the body off, I can show you the chassis are so different. They're so different. I did, I did a lot, a lot of upgrades to this car. So many upgrades. Starting with a metal heat sink. This was did not come with a metal heat sink for the motor. It did not. Obviously, the light kits, ground effect kit for the bottom, and then tail light and headlights for the body. Obviously, because I showed you that. But um, Stiffer suspension. I know I've got different springs, and I think these are the stiffest springs. Either way, upgraded the suspension. I added, can't remember. Well, obviously, they're different, different rims. These are not the stock rims that came with it. I have them in the box, but this, along with another set of rims and a set of aluminum rims too that just weighed it down and never really worked that great but they look cool so maybe I'll show them to you all uh, created the springs in the back what else did I do to this thing oh a faster motor this is the, uh, the the biggest motor that you could put in this car back in the day I upgraded the suspension. I don't remember exactly what I did now. Oh, it's been so long. But I put in the all-wheel drive kit, so I had to take this thing all apart. So the thing is, this thing is all-wheel drive now. This car is all-wheel drive. So, let's see. drive this thing also has a high low setting on it for the thro for the throttle trim it's a high low setting which is kind of weird so you put in a high and it's like and it's like really, which I never I never noticed before till now that that, had, that was that so that's interesting because I go a lot faster so that's kind of cool so like I said, it's got all-wheel drive in it now. It's a cool little car, even though it's the technology is so outdated, but it's a cool little car. The uh, can't remember if I put a bigger pinion in. I think I did put a bigger pinion in there. I think it's whatever pinion. I don't remember. I might have put a bigger pinion in there. Possible. Um, they had some calipers you could, that you could put in, so you see the red calipers. They had those, so that's pretty cool. And just the chassis layout is just totally different. It kind of rubs on the bottom. It's not really. It's heavy. 
They both run on four triple A's, both cars. So this is kind of how everything kind of sits in here. And the X mod here. So it's got plenty of storage space, the car and everything fits in here. Spare tires, spare rims, transmitter, spare nine volts. I got the triple A's actually underneath the car. Took them out. Keep those in there. And these are the rims that were um, upgrades. These are plastic. These are the stock stock rims. And of course these are the aluminum ones. I think. No. These are plastic. These are the aluminum ones. Kind of cool. And then this was the stock setup for the wheel to uh, plug into. And you had to buy these as an upgrade. These are just basically your calipers. So that was a spare one I had, but anyway. Yep. Pretty cool. I just have all my spare parts and stuff in here. So extra springs. Stock springs are silver, and then I've got the different colors or the different, the different thickness. Thickness, the different stiffness. I believe the yellow was the stiffest of the. Uh, pretty sure. Actually, I got some more springs in here. Yeah, the yellows are the stiffest because I got more of them. Yep. Yep. And I got some spare parts over here. Yeah, I got tons of. I had a. Gosh. I had the Camaro and the Hummer, and then I had this one. So I have a bunch of spare parts from probably the Camaro. Not so much the Hummer, but these might be the spare springs for the Hummer, actually. Kind of large. Yeah, I think these were for the for the Hummer. Then you get to this car. It's running on 2.4 gigahertz, so you got this little bitty antenna compared to this big antenna. And obviously the motor's in the back, whereas the motor's in the back on that one too. It's just a different, different design. Suspension is totally different. The springs are on the outside on the X mod, whereas in, they're on the inside on this car. in there. Of course you got one big spring on the back for your suspension. For your rear suspension. So both cars are really cool. And you have two two ports just like on the X mod. Except for you only have one port for lights. And this other port here is for the gyro that you can get to kind of control it. For some high speed, probably for drifting, I would imagine. Another difference is the X Mod kind of has proportional steering, but not really. It's real jittery, and I don't know if it's because of the FM or what. But this has proportional steering, and it's and it's just dialed in. It's locked in. It's nice. So you power it on. The steering here, as you can see, how nice that is. Yeah, so overall, both are cool cars. So, I hope you enjoyed this uh, trip down memory line, memory lane for me for this X Mod. It was, it was fun. The, uh, the way they used to do things is just funny. So, Beyond the Blue RC1, hope you enjoyed watching this video and please subscribe.